What's up, YouTube? This is MathWiz97, and welcome back to my WWE 2K16 Universe Mode. We're here with Thursday Night Smackdown for episode number 13. And yes, we're finally going to get the ball back rolling on Universe Mode. I do apologize for the lack of uploads lately, but I'm not going to spend a whole commentary updating you guys. I did that in an episode of my career. So check out, I'll leave a link in the description, I believe it was... Episode 10 of my career, uh, but we're taking a look at the matches taking place this evening. We'll see CM Punk one-on-one -on -one with Rey Mysterio, and as well as that, Bo Dallas is going to be taking on one-third of the new day in Kofi Kingston. But tonight, we're kicking this off. Santina Marella, he's in action, and you know what this typically means. Who is his opponent going to be? We're about to find out. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, no way! You gotta be kidding me! Is this what I think it is? Yes! Yes, ladies and gentlemen! Be prepared to witness one of the greatest things ever to come out of NXT at this point in time. This is Enzo Amore! How you doing indeed? I couldn't have said it better myself. Enzo Amore and Colin Cassidy, baby, they're here. They're finally here in universe mode. And I gotta say, I love these two guys. These guys are awesome. Just the pure charisma between these two. I mean, the tag team division. It has truly just been shaken up here tonight. But the question is, who are we gonna see? I wanna know. so-called opponents tonight. We have one word to describe him, and I'm gonna spell it out for you. A A D A T. Yes. I, I, who's it gonna be? Who's competing tonight? I, is it Enzo? Is it Big Cass? Is it both of them? I, I don't care. As long as it's one of them, I don't care who it is. Honestly, like just to see either of these two competing, right? Yes. It's Colin Cassidy by the looks of it. This match is underway. Santino, well, Santino's not, he doesn't have very good luck in universe mode in any of his matches. And tonight it appears as though he has yet another bad draw as he's gonna be taking on Colin Cassidy. But of course, we gotta take a look at the match card that already took place. As we saw Darren Young defeat Gold Dust, Paige, Natalia, and Emma defeated Tamina, Naomi, and Nikki Bella in a six diva tag team match and in the main event well, not the main event it was Sheamus defeating Jack Swagger in the final matchup that took place earlier on Sheamus with Barrett in his corner of course and we are that kind of a matchup just sort of goes to show that we are approaching the King of the Ring qualifying matchups the King of the Ring tournament will be taking place shortly after Night of Champions so it's this point in time where these superstars, they gotta be jockeying for position to perhaps earn themselves a qualifying match to perhaps become king of the WWE. It This time, last year we saw it as a part of the Night of Champions pay-per-view, but this time around, it's getting its own special baby. A cross-branded special, King of the Ring. Be sure to mark your calendars, stay tuned. There will be more announcements about the King of the Ring tournament to come in the near future. But right now, we gotta focus on Colin Cassidy, because Big Cass, he is just mopping the floor with Santina Morella right now, folks. And I gotta say, that the, the not the charisma, the cohesion, the type of a unit that Enzo Amore and Colin Cassidy make up, it's really going to be a formidable threat to any and all tag teams here in the WWE. You got Big Cass, he's the muscle, he's the powerhouse of the group. And then you got Enzo Amore, he talks the talk, but he can also walk the walk. And I know that's a cliche, but Dagnabbit, it's true. Enzo and Big Cass, oh wait a minute. Soft elbow drop, the Empire elbow connects. Good night, Santino. 
You're gonna have to have better luck next time, kid. Colin Cassidy gets the win in his singles debut tonight. And Enzo Amore, big Cass. I gotta say, I am, I'm so stoked to see what these two have to provide universe mode here in the next several months and just the future in general. Big Cass and Enzo Amore, honestly, two very talented young superstars and they have finally graced the WWE roster with their appearance. And I gotta say, Friday Night Smackdown, they are very lucky to have two bright young superstars like Enzo and Big Cass making their way onto the roster. But we're gonna move on now to the second match of the evening. This is the man who calls himself inspirational, but quite honestly, it's all a, f it's all a farce. He's a liar. He's a fraud. Bo Dallas, he calls himself inspirational, but we've seen in the past that Bo Dallas, he's nothing more than just a giant sore loser. That's what Bo Dallas is, attacking people after losing his matches. And quite honestly, Bo Dallas, he, you know, in the beginning, I looked up to Bo Dallas. I thought, man, this guy truly is a respectful competitor. He truly is the epitome of chivalry. This man comes down to the ring and not only can he can he just control a match in the ring, but while he's doing that, he tries to better his opponents. He tries to make his opponents better in their own right. He doesn't just go out there to just win these matches. He tries to improve his opponent's abilities at the same time. He tries to motivate them. And then that all fell apart when he lost his first match. And after that happened, well, Bo Dallas, he snapped. And now Bo Dallas, he's just stuck in this sort of spinning wheel of trying to find himself that spot on the, on the weekly shows. He's fallen into the kind of category that currently encompasses and has encompassed in the past the likes of Damian Sandow, Jack Swagger, and honestly, I thought Bo Dallas was so much more than that. I thought Bo Dallas truly was an inspiration, but I don't know if he just didn't stick fast to those ideals or if it was all just, just an act from the very beginning. But whatever the case may be, Bo Dallas, he has struggled in recent times, and now tonight, perhaps a chance to play spoiler for the momentum of the new day. If he could score a victory over Kofi Kingston tonight, that could definitely derail, or at least hinder, the momentum of the New Day heading into their tag team title match this Sunday against the Ascension. We've got a huge match card set to take place for the SummerSlam pay-per-view, and that tag team matchup is just one of the many matches that we have set to take place that could perhaps steal the show. I honestly believe that this SummerSlam pay-per-view coming up will be the biggest in universe mode. And I know lately that's just been that's just been a phrase I've been throwing around a lot. But it truly has been that's been the case. Payback I feel was a good step up for the series. Money in the Bank we took it a step further. We really opened the door to a world of possibilities. Well, I think SummerSlam we're going to rip the door off the hinges and we're going to I don't really have a way to continue that metaphor, but we're going to tear the house down and we're going to show not just the WWE, you even, now I can't even talk, I'm just so hyped. We're not only going to show the WWE Universe what we're capable of, we're going to show everybody on YouTube just what it means to be a part of this, this new revolution, this new era in the MathWiz 97 Universe mode. Focusing in on the match at hand now, though, getting a little bit carried away. We are just two days away from SummerSlam, and trust me, I, there may have been lacking videos lately, there might have been a delay in the uploads, but that doesn't mean I haven't been hard at work. SummerSlam, I've managed to edit all the matches together! What a superplex by Bo Dallas! Could that put Kofi away? Bo Dallas, looking for the looking for the victory right now! Two! Yeah, no, not quite yet. Kofi hangs on, just, just kicking out of the nick of time. But as I was saying, I have put together all the matches for SummerSlam, I've edited them, I just got to do commentary over them. Like I said in the My Career episode, I have to read. I had to redub over the first two matches, which I'm going to do shortly after this video. And as well as that, I need to get work on the promos, which I'm also going to do. I'm really, I really want the SummerSlam 
to get out as quickly as possible. I was hoping that I could have the video up by last Saturday. Unfortunately, that was not the case because circumstances just prevented me from recording any commentaries, and that sucks, but we're moving on. We're moving ahead. We're, I'm recording this commentary now, and that just shows that things are going up. And I truly think by the time SummerSlam is uploaded, I think it'll be worth the payoff. I think it'll be worth the wait. Look at this! Swinging neck breaker by Kofi Kingston. Bo Dallas gets dropped. And Kofi going to the top rope. Elbow drop. Kofi utilizing that high-flying ability that brought him to this point in universe mode. But a kick out by Bo Dallas. That high-flying, fast-paced offense is what brought Kofi Kingston to this point in his career in the first place. And the new day, honestly, this could be the common... Oh, look at that! Bo Dazzler by Bo Dallas interrupting my thoughts here and just as I thought Kofi had gained the advantage it's Bo Dallas who retaliates hooks the arms DDT double underhook DDT by Bo Dallas and he hooks the leg two three no Kofi Kingston just gets the shoulder up just in the nick of time and Bo Dallas well this is this is what we've learned to expect from Bo Dallas he's just about to snap he can't believe that Kofi just kicked out of his finishing move. And Bo Dallas, you can tell that just when things start to go south for him, if they're not going his way, it really affects him mentally. And he almost is losing control here. But he slipped up, and Kofi looking to capitalize on that mistake. Crossbody, two, three, no! Bo Dallas, now it's, now it's Bo Dallas' turn to be just on the verge of defeat. And Kofi perhaps setting him up here for trouble in paradise. The boot right across the skull of Bo Dallas. Knocked him out cold. Hooks the leg. Two, three. There you go, folks. That is the decisive victory for Kofi Kingston. And the new day. I gotta say, they are in the best form of their careers at this point. The new day, it's taken them half a year to get to this point but you know just because it took them this long to get here doesn't mean that they're not one of the greatest tag teams at this point and they're number one contenders for a reason they've beaten the new day before the new day the new day have defeated the ascension before but can they get the job done this sunday at SummerSlam when the titles are on the line only time will tell we just have a few days yet to go until SummerSlam. And hopefully once we get SummerSlam out of the way, once <clears throat> once I can put that video up on the interwebs, hopefully I'll be able to start picking up the pace with this universe mode. Because I really have been very disappointed with my upload rate since 2K16 has been released. Things just haven't gone my way these first couple of months. But hopefully things will start to change and we'll be able to get videos up much quicker and we can get the road tonight of champions started and we can get there hopefully within a month which typically I can't typically my pay-per-views aren't uploaded on a monthly rate but I was starting to get to that point at the end of 2k15 and I would like to try to get back on track with that even if that would mean shortening my career and putting off GM mode a little bit longer than I was expecting I think I'm just going to wait till the new year until I bring back the 06 GM mode. Just because SummerSlam has taken much longer than I thought. And <clears throat> I really want to get this, the pacing of this universe mode back on track. So I might hold off on GM mode just a bit longer. I know I was thinking November, December-ish. Uh, but just November's come and gone. It's December now and I still don't have any GM mode videos. I haven't made any efforts as to try to record any. And part of that is because I just haven't been able to upload many videos at all. And SummerSlam has taken a lot more work. Well, actually, I expected it to take a lot of work. So I wouldn't say a lot more work. Maybe just a little more time than I thought SummerSlam was going to take. And part of that is just because I've been very busy lately. This is just a really, a really bad time in my, uh, really bad time in my life right now to really be working on all these videos. I have a lot of stuff that I got to focus on, I gotta focus on graduating high school and all this sort of stuff, all this real life obligations, work and, you know, education and that sort of thing. 
And I've just been very busy, very caught up in all of this, so that I haven't been able to focus as much time as I would like to on universe mode, on videos in general. So I do apologize for that. I've been editing, you know, whenever I can. I just haven't been able to get the commentaries when I would like, which is the part that's been holding me back. But that's enough on that. Like I said, I'm trying to get trying to get that all done. Tried to get back on track. And we got to focus on this match. This match is starting off really with a quick pace as we saw a counter for counter between these two men. And from what we've seen from these two in the past, their similar styles, this is definitely going to be a fast-paced matchup. And this is also going to be the final match in universe mode for Rey Mysterio. He is retiring after this match tonight. And what a, what a victory it could be. What a statement Mysterio could make to retire by defeating the WWE Champion. That would be the pinnacle, perhaps, of, you know, a retirement. It's not quite winning the title, but at this point, Mysterio, I mean, we have Daniel Bryan who's stepping up, gonna be facing Punk at SummerSlam. Mysterio, he just has fallen out of that title picture since, since the Royal Rumble, really. <clears throat> and Mysterio, I honestly think if he, what, if he didn't make this decision now, he would only continue to fall further and further into obscurity in universe mode. And honestly, for a guy like Mysterio, honestly, when you get to that point in your career, where you are getting up there in age and, you know, your ability, perhaps, you know, you just, you don't feel as though you need to retire. Perhaps you think you can still go, but honestly, if your ability starts to deteriorate, you can't put on the same sort of performances that you once could, a lot of, a lot of people, not just wrestlers, just people in general, they can't make that decision as to when to retire. When is it the right time to retire? You don't want to fall too far from, from the top before retiring. And Mysterio, I think it's, I think it's very wise of him to make this decision. And I honestly think that's a decision that not a lot of people can make. And I respect Mysterio for that. He is aware that the time is is drawing near. And Mysterio, he has not waited until he cannot perform at a a, a commendable rate. He hasn't fallen to the point where Mysterio. Every time he steps out there, you're like, okay, Rey Mysterio, this is. You know, he was good back in the day, but now he's just sort of, sort of, eh. I don't feel like Mysterio has gotten the, to that point just yet. Mysterio can, he can still go out there and compete with the likes of, of CM Punk, of Adrian Neville. These, you know, younger, more fat, uh, yeah, can't even talk now. These younger, quicker superstars, but he's still able to go out there and hold his own. But for how much longer could Mysterio keep that up? And I think Mysterio realizes that... He's reaching that point in his career. It's time to move on to different things. And as I was saying, a lot of people can't make that decision. And I respect Mysterio for that. And I'm sure Myster or CM Punk shares the same feelings here tonight. Punk must be honored to be competing in a matchup like this where he will be the final opponent for that Rey Mysterio will ever face in universe mode. That's a lot of weight to be putting on CM Punk's shoulders especially this close to the pay-per-view. But nonetheless, CM Punk, he cannot afford to let up his game, even for an instant tonight, because, like I said, the pay-per-view's this Sunday. CM Punk, he cannot afford to lose a matchup at this point. As he goes to the top, elbow, no! Mysterio, able to dodge the elbow, and now striking away on CM Punk. Oh, and he drop-kicked him into the ropes. Mysterio, Punk's in position. 6-1-9! Mysterio connects, and a springboard splash, hooks the leg, two, no! CM Punk, just barely able to survive the 619. And Mysterio can't believe it, into the cover again, and again a kick out by CM Punk. Wow, what, what fortitude being shown there by CM Punk to keep himself alive in this matchup. And it's like I was saying, you can't afford to let your guard down. You can't slip up because in just that split moment, CM Punk, he nearly lost the match. Fortunately for Punk, he had the resiliency to survive. And he's back on the attack now of Rey Mysterio. Delivers a kick to the gut. Oh, and now he's sending him off the ropes. CM Punk firing up a second wind here. Ducks underneath a clothesline off the two kicks and then takes him down with an arm trap neck breaker. And Punk again, perhaps 
Looking to go to the top. Looking to go for that elbow drop. Paying tribute to the Macho Man, Randy Savage. CM Punk connects. And that could put Mysterio away. Two, three, no. Whew. Close call there for Mysterio. Punk almost had him right there. But Mysterio, he was, oof. You can't get much closer than that. Punk now placing Mysterio up top. Mysterio counters, then he kicks him off. And Mysterio looking to fly. Oh, but he got caught. Rey Mysterio got caught in midair. Punk, go to sleep, Ken X. The knee to the skull. And it's nap time for Mysterio. Punk hooks the leg. And that is it, folks. CM Punk is your winner. A huge victory for CM Punk heading into the SummerSlam pay-per-view. And there it is, folks. That's the match we've all been waiting for. It's finally going to happen. It's a year of the making. And it's going down at SummerSlam. CM Punk one-on-one -on -one with Daniel Bryan for the WWE Championship. That is it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're hyped for SummerSlam because it's only a few short days away. Be sure to stay tuned to this channel for the SummerSlam event. And of course, pay your respects to Rey Mysterio. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, keep on YouTubing.